Good evening. I am President Sue Hassler, and I am delighted to welcome you to Muskingum University's 29th graduate commencement. Tonight's ceremony is one of the key moments that define our academic year. It is our opportunity to celebrate and honor our graduate students' tremendous achievements. To begin, here is our university chaplain, the Reverend Julia Wright, who will be delivering our invocation. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chaplain Julia Wright, and it is my honor to be celebrating your graduation with you today. I invite you to enter a posture of prayer and join me in our invocation. God of journeys, as we celebrate an ending, we ask that you open our eyes to each new beginning before us. Help us to look back on the beautiful things we have seen and done in our time at Muskingum, and we ask you to guide our graduates as they look forward towards the beauty before them. Help us to set aside our regrets and our struggles and find gratitude for the people we have become. Although this year we are not able to celebrate together in the flesh, we pray that you unite our spirits in joy this day, reminding each of us that we will never stand alone, no matter the distance between us. We give thanks for the devotion of our teachers and staff who have invested so much time and energy into our students, preparing them for the world. And we give thanks for the perseverance, commitment, and hard work of our students who have never given up, never stopped learning, and never start, stopped working towards this exciting day. As we struggle with farewells and questions of what comes next, move our hearts towards appreciation of the now, appreciation of the places we find ourselves in this day, and grant us joy. Amen. This academic year has been very different from other years in Muskingum's history. It has brought its own unique challenges and opportunities as together we navigated the COVID pandemic. Tonight's ceremony is also a bit different from the past, as once again we celebrate virtually. In the most important way, however, it honors our Muskingum traditions as it honors our graduate class of 2021. Congratulations on receiving your well-earned Master of Arts in Education, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Information Strategy Systems and Technology, and Master of Occupational Therapy degrees. I want to make a special mention of our occupational therapy class. You are the very first in Muskingum University's history to receive the MOT degree here. Thank you for being inaugural members of this new program, which is established in fall 2019. Along with our programs in education and MIST, the MOT educates professionals who will meet critical societal needs in our region and beyond. You, the Muskingum graduate class of 2021, have demonstrated creativity, resilience, and determination. You have reached today's milestone by turning challenges into opportunities during this pandemic and before. I am confident that as educators, business leaders, occupational therapists, and members of your communities, you will continue to transform the lives of others, especially during times of great change. The Muskingum faculty and staff lead by their example as they work to challenge and inspire you. As we celebrate you, our students, we also thank and recognize our faculty and staff today. To our students, families, and friends, congratulations to you. Thank you for supporting and encouraging your loved one in their journey toward their graduate degree. We are always tremendously grateful for the dedicated leadership provided by the members of Muskingum University's Board of Trustees. Since 2019, Dr. Kim Gage Rothermel has served as chair of the board. 
She has been a Muskingum trustee since 1997 and for many years chaired the board committee dedicated to educational excellence. I am very pleased to present to you now Dr. Kim Gage Rothermel. Thank you, President Hassler. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Muskingum University, I extend to each of you our heartfelt congratulations on earning your graduate degrees. Some of you have completed your graduate degree immediately after your undergraduate studies. Some of you may have been in the workforce while pursuing your degree. And some of you may also be raising a family who this year may all have been sequestered in place with you while you did all this hard work. You are strong and determined, and we are proud and delighted that you are now part of our long magenta line of Muskingum alumni. Leo Buscaglia said, change is the end result of all true learning. You leave Muskingum changed with your master's degrees, and we know that you are now more than ever prepared to change the lives of those around you, in your families, your work life, your cities, your states, the nation, and even the world. As you consider Malcolm X's statement that education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today, may you share your passion for service, education, business, and leadership with others. May you embrace challenge. May you take action with your dreams, remembering that the easiest thing to be in the world is you. The most difficult thing to be is what other people want you to be. Congratulations, Muskingum University Graduate Degree Class of 2021. We wish you all the very best. It is my privilege to welcome our 2021 graduate commencement speaker, Ms. Tammy Fitzgerald. She is a distinguished educator whose passion for teaching and learning has created significant impact for her students, their families, her colleagues, our region, and our nation. We are proud to honor Tammy today with a Doctor of Humane Letters degree. I now invite Dr. Kim Gage Rothermel to join me in conferring this honorary degree. Thank you, Dr. Hessler. Whereas Tammy Fitzgerald, a member of the Muskingum Bachelor's Degree Class of 1981 and the Muskingum Master's Degree Class of 1998, impacts the world through her more than 30 years of dedicated service to STEM education, engaging pedagogy, and student success. And whereas Tammy Fitzgerald is recognized by the state of Ohio as a master teacher who demonstrates excellence both inside and outside of the classroom through consistent leadership and focused collaboration to maximize student learning. And whereas Tammy Fitzgerald has taught science for more than three decades at West Muskingum High School and has taught a variety of education courses as an adjunct professor at Muskingum University, and whereas Tammy Fitzgerald helped develop a STEM mentoring cafe program with the United States Departments of Education and Energy, represented science teachers at the White House STEM Master Teacher Corps Roundtable, and currently serves as the Director of Outreach and Engagement for the National Board of Certified Teachers. And whereas Tammy Fitzgerald has received numerous prestigious recognitions including the Presidential Award for Excellence in Mathematics and Science Teaching and the Clay Snowbell Educator of Distinction Top 10 Educators of the Year Award. Therefore, be it now resolved by the Muskingum University Board of Trustees on this, the sixth day of May, 2021, that the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters be conferred upon Tammy Fitzgerald. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Ohio and the Board of Trustees of Muskingum University, I do hereby confer upon you, 
Tammy Fitzgerald, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. I now present to you Dr. Tammy Fitzgerald. Thank you, President Hessler and Dr. Rothermel. I kind of feel taller. I feel like I have to stand taller up here. Dr. Fitzgerald, it, um, I'm honored. Thank you so much. I am honored and humbled to be the commencement speaker today. And I'd like to start by congratulating each one of you on earning your master's degree. You represent degrees in education, teaching, information strategy systems and technology, and for the first time here at Muskingum University, occupational therapy. It's great joining you from on site at Muskingum. Muskingum has positively influenced my life in many ways. It was here 40 years ago that I earned my bachelor's in chemistry and received my teaching license. Later, as many of you who I'm speaking to, I earned my master's of arts in education. It was also here that I met my husband, made lifelong friends, and returned as an adjunct professor. Muskingum University has been good to me. It has projected me on a path, stepping forward and being a leader. I challenge you to always step forward and lead as well. As you do, I'd like to share three principles to guide you. The first I'll call, how can I help? In each of your fields, you will be providing service to others. Start interactions with the words, how can I help? Let them know you are there for them and that their success is important to you. My grandfather always shared this poem. It goes like this, others, 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 others. This poem is directly in line with the words, how can I help? When it comes to others, be their allies. Ask what problems do they need solved? What obstacles need to be removed? What resources are needed? And then follow through with action. In my life, I am using how can I help around systemic racism and equity and access for all, especially our students. Our country's systemic inequities have been laid bare by COVID-19 pandemic. As all of you are taking on roles as servant leaders, you are in positions to make a difference and to use your voice as I am now. We must each step up and become collaborators, accomplices, and co-conspirators who fight injustice and promote equity. Always ask, how can I help? Next comes, stay thirsty. I know you're already good at this. You have just earned your master's degree. That tells me you have stayed thirsty for learning. Now I want you to do something. I want you to raise your hands. Yeah, I know we're virtual, but just play along. Now, raise your hands higher and higher again. Did you see how every time you could always go higher? That's how you should go through life. In education, I did this throughout my life in education, um, I worked to earn my national board teaching certification. I stepped up to lead staff programs for districts and took advantage of fellowships to make an impact at the national level. Stay thirsty for growth. Be productively ambitious and strive to reach your full potential. Stay thirsty for the challenge that awaits you each day. Lastly, always fail forward. Propel forward through challenges. I was really anxious about today, about making this recording for your graduation because I have Bell's palsy, but I'm here. I showed up and I am propelling forward through this challenge. I am owning it, growing from it, and I'm not letting the palsy define me or own me. Another example is this past year, while no year is like the one before, 2020 really felt tumultuous in the US. It challenged Americans in ways 
we hadn't been challenged in a while. Between the pandemic and struggling economy, election, and fight for equity, people had to isolate and deal with themselves and others in unexpected ways, especially over issues of racism and intolerance. With racism and intolerance, it is time for America to fail forward and to own it. For you graduates, if you struggle, and you will, struggle forward. If you fail at something, learn from the experience and fail forward. Experiment smartly, act quickly. Don't let fear hold you back. There you go, that's it. Three guiding principles. How can I help? Stay thirsty and fail forward. Muskingum University is now propelling you onward from your homes in Ohio, Arizona, Tennessee, West Virginia, heck, even from Canada. As you go, know that part of you will stay at Muskingum and part of Muskingum will go and become a part of you. And that is as it should be. Congratulations.
What a wonderful display of accomplishment by each of our Class of 2021 graduate degree recipients. Everyone at Muskingum University is enormously proud of you. We hope that you will stay connected with us and visit when you are able. Until then, engage with the world. Use your gifts, seek justice, and our congratulations and many blessings. Be well.